Double Jeopardy time. Double Jeopardy category with this one. Title Ballet Women. Animals. The Arctic Ocean. The scintillating 1700s. Say it in Spanish. And the movie of the song. Okay, let's get okay. back into this. Player three. Say you in make Spanish 400. We the Bureau of Land Management can help you adopt one of these wild donkeys. Player one. What is... Burrow. Yeah. Say it in Spanish 800. Player one, as well as manly or virile, this word can mean sledgehammer. Here's what we were looking for. Macho. Macho. All right. The movie Player of the one, song for it. Lose yourself. 2002. Okay, player one. Uh, what is Spider Man? Sorry, that's one. No. Anyone else? <sighs> Here is what we wanted Eight Mile. Eight Mile. Didn't think it was that. You again, player one. A Whole New World, 1992. What is Aladdin? It's player one. Yep. I like the movie of the song for 1200. Player one. Let's hear it for the boy. 1984. The correct response is Footloose. Footloose, okay. 1600. You again, player one. Answer, a daily double. That's it. The first of the two daily doubles. And you have Let's the lead. Let's do 1400. Answer this. zippity doo dog. What is Song of the South? Congratulations. Should have bet more on that one, but that's all right. You again, player oh, one. Can you hear me? 1983. Here's the correct response. Yentl. Select Spanish 1200. Answer! The second daily double! Answer, the second daily double. And you're in the loop. Alright, uh, let's do... 1600. Answer. Whether after Cuba or not, it simply means free. Uh, what is Semper? However, you keep your lead. Here's the correct response Libre. Libre. Well, there's no more daily doubles. Player one. This can mean taste or flavor. Con mucho this means with great pleasure. Let's hear it, player three. Good. <laughs> Gusto, yeah. Some money. Player three, you start. Here's Sarah. She'll show you. In Spanish spelling, this mark above the N indicates that rather than una, the word should be pronounced uña. Let's hear it, player one. I'll see what it is tilled. Hey, you That's right. it. Okay, let's All get right, back in. Player one, you make the next selection. As well. The laughing type of this dog-like carnivore is a predator of big game, but also scavengers for food. Here's the correct response. The hyena. Animals for 800. You again, player one. The Snyders is among the smallest types of this eel known for sharp teeth and attacks on divers. Let's hear it, player one. What is Moray? Yeah! Good. Animals for 1,200. Player one. But the Caracal is a wild type of this household pet that roams over Africa and the Middle East.
Yes, player two. Cat. That's correct. Yep. Player two, you're in command of the board as we continue, right? What else is new? But that the new is also called this, from Dutch words. Here's the correct response. The wildebeest. The wildebeest, all right. Player two, pick again. Its German name is Nilkfeld. Nile horse. We're talking about the hippopotamus. The hippopotamus, all right. Player two, pick again. Arctic Ocean four. The shortest way to sail to the Arctic Ocean from Nome, Alaska, is to go north through the strait named for him. Let's hear it, player one. Who is Vitus Baron? Yeah. <laughs> yep, Baron straight. Let's go again. Okay, let's get back. The spiral tusk of this cetacean that inhabits the waters of the Arctic Ocean may reach a length of 10 feet. Let's hear it, player one. Uh, what is a narwhal? Right. <laughs> You get to pick again. In the early 1770s, England's Samuel Hearn became the first European to reach the Arctic Ocean overland from this bay. The correct response is Hudson Bay. Hudson Bay. Player one, back to 1949 saw the first ballet version of this operatic Bizet work that features Don Jose and a Toreador. It's player one. What is Carmen? Yes. Yeah! Player one, the evil priest Frollo wants Esmeralda, but she's saved by a man named this. Who is Quasimodo? Yes, player one. Yeah. Player one. Margot Fontaine dazzled audiences as Princess Aurora in this ballet. Player one. What is Sleeping Beauty? Right you are. Ted Ballet Women for 1600. We return to you. This Kenneth Macmillan ballet intrigues with the curious story of the last of the four daughters of Tsar Nicholas II. Here is what we wanted. Anastasia. Player one. Pick again. This Greek gal falls for her stepson Hippolytus in a ballet based on Racine's tragedy. Here is the correct response. Phaedra. Please pick again, player The one. Arctic Ocean's deepest point, about 17,880 feet, lies just north of this country's Svalbard Islands. Okay, player one. What is Sweden? Ooh. No. No. I think it's Norway. Anyone else? Actually, now that I think about it. Yes, player three. <laughs> it was Norway. Oh well. Player three, where do we start? On August 3rd, 1958, this nuclear-powered submarine became the first to cross the North Pole under the ice. It's player three. Good. Nautilus. All right, one category left. Player three, back to you. The future King George II lost his marbles over Henrietta Howard and gave her Marble Hill House on this river. Yes, player one? Well, what is the Thames River? Woo! Since only 1700s for 800. All right, let's get the famous one of these. Marie Camargo is remembered for shortening her skirts to calf length.
We're talking about a ballerina. 1,200. Player one. In 1752, suave seducer Sergei Saltikov spiced up the life of this future empress. Okay, player one. It was Catherine the Great. Yeah. That's it. 1,600. Player one. Born into a family of actors, he was expelled from a seminary. Big surprise before finding fame as a lusty libertine. And hopefully my battery can uh, hang on here on my camera. Here's what we were looking for. Giovanni Casanova. And now the $2,000 clue. Here's Jimmy from our clue crew with the clue. An engraving of this 18th century French monarch, America's most powerful ally during the revolution, hangs at Mount Vernon. The correct response is Louis the 16th. And that's it for Double Jeopardy. Good game. All of you will continue on to play Final Jeopardy when we return. Now Final Jeopardy coming right up right now with this category. National holidays. So, what's your wager? And the clue reads, June 23rd, National Day in this country, began as a celebration of the birthday of Grand Duchess Charlotte. I'm going to say what is Belgium. response and oh, that was not the Netherlands so she lost all 1800 what did you say with that correct Luxembourg response, you will gain what did you say so oh, I got it wrong but I lost only 200 so eleven thousand six hundred dollars this game for Billy Moody so congratulations all right, we'll see you for the next segment.